found Osama bin Laden hiding out. KT McFarland, you cannot make this stuff up, as they say. <laughs> Now, first of all, they're going to, yeah. okay, it's $30 million they're going to spend right. on, it's an amusement park. Theme park, amusement park, yeah. U Usama Park or whatever it's called. Yeah, Bin Laden Land. Bin I Laden. mean, who needs Disney World, right? Is it my $30 million? Well, that's, you don't know that. Um, they say no, the tourism department is going to appropriate that money for the park. But, the, in fact, we give them $2 billion a year. But okay. they're celebrating Abadabad. Abadabad. Celebrating yeah. it. And this is where the world's leading terrorists were shot it's and killed by Americans. It's going to become a shrine. I mean, not only is it kind of a joke, it's going to become Disney World for them, but it's also going to be a shrine. Osama bin Laden is beloved in Pakistan. Now, why? It's because, in large part, because the government of Pakistan has sort of puffed him up. We're hated in Pakistan. Why? Because the government, political leaders, trash us, even though we give them billions. So, okay, mm. the, 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 yeah. the hard question is... I can't believe is, this. No, right? no, I, can, I can believe it. Do you think we should keep paying no. them on, on political grounds, that we need them as an ally? No. We need them. No? No. Cut here, them off? Here, I'm all for foreign aid, but I want to get something for it. I think it's much better to buy friends than kill enemies. But the point with Pakistan is we gave them $2 billion a year to find bin Laden. Did they ever find him? No. They were in the finding bin Laden business. If they ever found him, they were out of business. They wanted the gravy train to keep going. I think that we, we make a huge mistake as the United States when we give a country money. We have no strings attached to it. We give it to them. And then if we think about cutting it off, the argument is, oh, they'll get mad at us. We can't possibly but cut it would, out. Would the they? tail wags the dog. But would, if we cut them off, yeah. Yeah, the argument is that either they collapse totally, and that's a distinct possibility, yep. or they become a training ground for terrorists who'll come and bomb us in America all over again. But, but I would make the argument that the aid that we give them doesn't make that difference. If that's going to happen, it's already going to happen. It's not going to not happen because we give them money. I I was with an American aid worker um, when the Pakistan had floods a couple of years ago, and the United States gave them by far the largest contribution to deal with that. Um, when I met with the Pakistani foreign minister and talked, and he said, well, that was crumbs off your table, as if to say it wasn't enough. I asked an aid worker, why don't we get no credit when we're the big donors? The Chinese didn't give them much at all. Chinese got a lot of credit. And she said, oh, well, the U.S. aid workers wouldn't have dared go in and say they were from America. They would have been attacked. All right, you cut them off. I want your brief comment on something that North Korea is doing, okay? Mm -hmm. Roll tape. Right, that's North Korea video <laughs> that using is North Korea. American uh, so, uh, video game video mm -hmm. nuking America, right. cheering. Cheering. What, do you, what should we do about it? Well, look, they can do whatever they want in that regard, but I don't think we should be suckered into buying this horse again, as former Secretary of Defense Gates said. Every time the North Koreans come to us and say, we'll stop doing what we'll do, but we need a little aid from you guys. And every time we fall for it. You know, that's the definition of insanity, continuing to do the same thing. Cut off and the Pakistanis. <laughs> forget the North Koreans. Well, no, the North Koreans are important. Why? Because the nuclear weapons they're making, they're going to sell to Iran. Katie That's McFarland a problem. taking a hard line. All right, Katie, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. I will see you tomorrow morning.